Unless you have been living under a rock, you know college is expensive, and it is totally, totally out of the reach, uh, out of financial reach for most families, for many families. Getting into college can be expensive, too, by the way. Some of those college board prep courses can cost hundreds or thousands of dollars, but we know they make a difference. What if you can't afford it? Well, that doesn't close the achievement gap that exists in this country if people can't get the help they need just to get into college. Check out these statistics. Low-income students score an average of 300 points lower on their SATs than higher-income students, students from families with higher income. 37% of low-income students end up going to college versus 81% of their higher-income peers. That may have something to do with the testing. It may have things to do with uh, other aspects of their life. But it is something that Jason Shaw found out as a teenager after doing some research. And that led him to try to level the playing field a little bit by launching a free online SAT prep site with one of the best names on the Internet, I need a pencil.com. There he is. There's the man. Jason is now a senior at Harvard. He joins us from Boston and he still has the site I need a pencil.com. Crazy name, Jason, but what does it do? Cuz you're not giving pencils out. No, no pencils on this website. Uh, basically, I need a pencil.com is a completely free online SAT prep program where students can read through 60 lessons in math, reading and writing and take over 800 practice questions across his three subjects in order to prepare for the test. Oh, you've got 60 lessons on it. You've got more than 800 practice questions. Uh, I, I was just on it again a few minutes ago, checking it out again. It's got advice. It's got prep, uh, test, uh, test, test prep information, information on applications and admissions. Why did you do this? Well, when I was a you know, junior in high school, I went to visit my sister the month that I took my SAT. And she was teaching in an urban middle school in, in West Philly, and I had never seen how far some students are and how far behind they are than their own peers in s the suburbs like I was lucky enough to grow up in. And so since I was taking the SAT that month, I started thinking, what are these st students going to have to do when they take the SAT, and how are they possibly going to compete with other students who have way more resources? And so that got the ball moving. I started tutoring. Before long, I realized I couldn't really scale my tutoring, and so I had the idea to start a website. Okay, now let's think about this. Uh, kids get access to, to your site. How do they learn about it? And what happens to them when they, when they get to it and they start using it? So usually we partner with schools and after school programs to really target the students that we're reaching out to and that's usually how students find out about us. And then once they come to the website, they'll sign up to make an account and then they'll read through most of the lessons that I mentioned earlier to really understand the material, learn it before they actually do practice questions. And then from there, we actually have students transition into the question section where they actually answer simulated SAT questions. And before and after this entire process, yep. they take a full-length practice SAT, and they take one afterward as well to see where they landed. And what's the difference in the score? So usually we see about a 202-point score increase among our students. Wow. 202-point score increase because somebody went to your site. Now, do they pay anything to do that? No, it's completely free for students. How do you pay for it? How, who pays for this? So colleges and scholarship programs have partnered with INeedAPencil.com to help us promote to students. So we promote for colleges and scholarship programs. In exchange, we're able to actually support and grow the program. So anybody can use this? So technically, it's open to anybody to register for just because if we put in provide your tax forms or anything right. like that, it would just create more barriers for the students we're trying to help. Right. Um, but we try to do as much targeting as we possibly can. We follow the analytics on our website to really make sure we're hitting the neighborhoods where we really needed the most. Jason, what a great thing. I mean, you, you see a problem as a student and you don't figure you're going to fix it later in life. You fix it right away. This is incredible. Helping students get an improvement, average improvement of 202 points on their SAT scores by being able to access this free site with questions and, and test preparation advice and application advice. Jason, congratulations for that. Uh, great to talk to you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.